My name is Christine Cooper and I'm the Manager of Public Programs at the York County History Center. I'm also a historic costumer. In this series of videos, I'll be recreating a piece from the York County History Center's clothing collection. Before we get started though, let's learn a little bit about the collection and about the piece I will be reconstructing. The History Center has an extensive clothing collection of over 10,000 objects, including dresses, suits, baby and children's clothing, outerwear, and even undergarments. Our oldest pieces, dating from the 1790s, and our newest, a prom dress made from duct tape in 2007. Clothing has always been a form of self-expression, often reflecting world events and cultural changes. Let's take a closer look at one of the oldest pieces in our collection. This gown probably dates from the late 1790s. Fashion changed significantly during this period, with the fashionable look going from something like this, with a natural waist and exaggerated round hips, to something like this, with a long silhouette and high waist. This gown displays many of the attributes that embody women's clothing of this era, such as the high waist, low, rounded neckline, and the skirt fullness in the back. The gown closes with two drawstrings in the front, one at the neckline and the other at the waist. The bodice and sleeves of the gown are lined in linen, which is common for the time. The front lining pieces would overlap in the front for modesty. One of the things that make this dress really special is that it shows evidence that it was refashioned from a dress, probably made in a different style. Some of the clues are the fold lines on the sleeve and the pin pricks on the skirt front. This was a common practice, as materials were expensive. This garment must have been well loved, because she has several issues, not only caused by age, but by wear. There are a few holes extensive staining on the skirt, both front and back, and discoloration from perspiration and even perhaps light. In the coming weeks, I'll recreate this gown using period appropriate textiles and hand sewing techniques. When it is finished, it will become part of the History Center's collection and will be used for educational purposes. Follow along with us and stay tuned for further videos. Maybe you'll be inspired to create a historic garment all your own.